What up everybody, it's your boy MC Spice Black Superman, Mr. Health and Wealth. And this week's message is, it's time to build kings and queens. Now we just came off of Black History Month, and one thing that we know about Black History my is slavery. So we look at images like these. My nose is white, my skin is technicolor, I'm gonna apologize. You peep my aura, you love to go before you touch my shine, just know. And in those images, what we see is our ancestors put on boats, men and women, and they were shipped all the way from Africa, all the way to America, right? To be sold into slavery. But here's the thing, our ancestors, a lot of them survived that trip. A lot of them came over to America. They were enslaved, they had children, their children had children, and guess what those children eventually end up doing? They become free. They learn how to read, they have property, they actually build businesses, and they were able to pass those businesses down to their family. But here's the thing, when we were in Africa, hey, people say we were kings and we were queens, right? We were over there, and we were either taken or sold from Africa back to America. But the thing is, if we were kings and queens over there, how come we're not kings and queens over here? And I'm not saying that there's no great prominent leaders. I'm not saying that there's not successful black people over here. But I'm just saying that out of the 13% of us here in America right now, only 1% of us make up the wealth in the United States. That means that 1% of us are actually doing well, are thriving, our net worth is high. The other 99%, we're struggling, we're having challenges, we're not supporting each other, and we're not building each other up. So I'm just telling you guys, if you are a king, if you are a queen, which you are, my goal just isn't be the ultimate king on top. I'm pretty sure LeBron James and Tiger Woods and Oprah Winfrey and all these people who are at the top right now, their goal just isn't to be at the top and stay at the top alone. They want to build more people up. They want to build more kings and queens. That's why I pour into my son. That's why I pour into the young generation because I wanna build future kings and queens. So as I get older, they start to get older. They start to rise and they take those same lessons and those same teachings and that same entrepreneur spirit and they build up other kings and queens as well. So I'm telling you guys, it is time to build. It is time to commit to building, not only just executing, but building. So as you rise, everyone else rise. And sometimes, yes, somebody might need a little bit of tugging and pulling and a little bit of motivation, and that's okay. Because again, we are building, we are investing in our next generation and the generations to come. Because imagine, yes, some of the people who were on those slave ships, they did not make it. Some of them even jumped off. They said, look, I can't, I'm not gonna sit here and go somewhere that's unknown to me. I'd rather just jump off and go to glory now. But there was ones who stayed on that boat, who survived, who made the month after month after month after month journey, and they made, they came to America. Yes, they were enslaved. Yes, they had hard time. Yes, they were whipped. Yes, they were abused, but they continued to thrive on. And then when they had the opportunity to get freedom, or when their children had the opportunity to get freedom, or their grandchildren had the opportunity to get freedom, they took that chance, they became free, and they gave us the opportunity that we have today. So I'm just telling you guys, continue to build each other up. It is not my goal, and I'm pretty sure it's not everyone's goal who's a black man or black woman to be at the top and stay at the top alone. Trust me, we want to build you guys up. We want to get you guys to the top. And as you begin to rise, and as you begin to build yourself and build others, remember the four things I always tell you to do. Eat better, save better, live better, and everything you do will always leave with love. You guys have a great week. God bless. MT Spurs. Eat better, save better, live better, and always leave your love. Amen.